Okay. Okay. So right now, today, right, we're going to be showing you or you will be learning how to push code for the first time. Yeah. So this is the one time configuration, right? So let's say you have uh, new files. You never used Git to do the push uh, mm -hmm. files from your local machine to the Git lab, uh, GitHub, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do, first of all? So first of all, you're going to say Git status. Have Git status. So here, Git kind of telling you like those are the new files that you need to commit. So these files are located in your local machine, but is not in your GitHub yet, right? Right. So what's the comment? Git space add space dot dot means you adding all the files, all the new files. Enter. Right. Now Git commit space hyphen m. And inside the quotation, you can put whatever messages you want. Like I wrote a test, adding all the file, whatever. Okay, now, okay. So here, this is only one time you're gonna get if you have new Git configured, right? So you see right here, you, you have to tell Git who you are, right? Okay. Your machine has to recognize you, okay? Right. Okay, so to do that, they already give you the command, right? So the first one you're gonna copy, git config hyphen hyphen global right copy the whole thing this okay thing. and then yeah command b oh hold on or or not command b like you know use your mouse like you know click on right click on it yes so now back space and remove your gmail uh, the email address yeah back space okay i got this right okay so change your email address whatever email address you used for your git right mm-hmm so do that no no no. so you why are you pasting it twice i don't know why that happened okay so just click on backspace from your keyboard just don't delete the first quotation delete that delete that go click on backspace keep doing the backspace and now put your right here no no no. yeah it's quotation and put your email address here at gmail.com I guess and put, put, finish the quotation and enter okay now copy the next one or you can type like you can see it right uh, git config hyphen hyphen global you can type it yeah that line yes and then put my name right right here you can say uh Ahsanul D Korim or like Korim. Is, it, is it the one that's supposed to be for GitHub or is it just my name? It doesn't matter. This yeah, what just you say your name like who you are, Ahsan Karim. Okay, enter. Now say git push. Now you are finally pushing it. So what happened is after you do that, they're supposed to give you a pop-up. Everything is up to date. Okay, now check, uh, go back to your GitHub and refresh it, see if it's going there. Yeah, go into the GitHub. It didn't come. I don't see it. Nope. Okay, go back to the terminal one time. All right, REST API. So let's do it one more time. Uh, git add, git commit. So from your keyboard, right, instead of doing that, you have the upper, you know, the page upper, upper icon in the keyboard. Upper error, sorry, in the keyboard. Do you see it? The error that in the keyboard, that error there, yeah. So keep doing that, yeah, until you reach git add. Keep doing that, keep doing that. You can go back and forth, yes, enter. It's kind of like a shortcut, you know? Yeah, right, git right, right. enter. Now do the git commit stuff using the same upper error or you want to type in, that's totally up to you. But I think upper arrow is faster, yeah. Okay. Now say git push. All right, so now it should be pushed. Can you refresh it now? Oh, yeah, there you, go. you got it. All right. So I will stop the recording and I will uh, share with the team so people also can understand. Okay, sounds good. So now.